In today's video, I'm going to tell you three cheap and simple upgrades that are going to make this camera even more cinematic than it already is. So I was browsing through YouTube, right? And I saw this video by a guy named Joris Herman. And he did a pretty good job on that video, by the way. What he mainly talked about was two things, shallow depth of field and color grading. And to be honest, there's a lot more involved in terms of getting cinematic footage. But those two topics are a good place to start. So what exactly is cinematic footage? We hear this term thrown around on YouTube, left, right, and center. To me, it's something that as soon as you see it, it screams out professionalism. It's something that looks like it was shot on an expensive camera. Footage that's different than if you were to just whip out your mobile phone and start recording. So how do we get that cinematic look? Let's talk about the first subject that George Herman was talking about in his video, shallow depth of field. And what that does is that it blurs out your background, allowing you to separate your subject from the background and from the foreground. It allows you to pull focus back and forth, bringing the viewer's attention to that which you want them to focus on. And aside from all of that, it just looks beautiful. So first things first, what do you need exactly to be able to get shallow depth of field? What you need is a lens where the aperture opens up very 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 wide and now the second thing that George Herman was talking about that's gonna make your footage extremely cinematic and that is color grading. If you don't know what color grading is it's just a fancy term for altering the colors so that you can get them looking the way you want and that you can make your footage pop. But there's one more thing you're gonna need you need a professional editing software. Hands down, the best one that you can get for color grading especially is DaVinci Resolve and it's free. Now color grading does take some effort and time but fortunately there's something called LUTs and what that is is like a filter that you put on your footage that's gonna automatically color grade it for you. The footage that you're looking at right now has already been color graded with my LUTs. So if we look at that footage as it comes straight out of the camera it looks like this. As you can see, it's not so appealing. By the way, you can purchase my LUT pack, which has multiple LUTs in it, such as analog days, simplicity, freedom, and back to the original one I was using, teal and orange juice. So as you can see, you can really make your image stand out using LUTs and shallow depth of field. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace.